The second big idea, I think, is to find a way to enable the working American family that's trying to buy a house to afford that house at a time when we have a mismatch between what mortgages once cost and what houses are now worth. The danger in this kind of a deflationary spiral is that as prices decline, then people can't sell their house, and then the market freezes up, and then prices decline even more. This is a very, very dangerous phenomena, and if it's not checked, it could force millions of families out of their homes. We think that's fundamentally wrong, and we think that an American solutions approach would help everybody who's willing to work hard, would help everybody who's willing to pay their bills, but it would not help those who are speculators, and it would not help those who are cheaters. And I think it's very important to draw that distinction. I worry about big bureaucracy and big government programs because I think they get manipulated by the clever, the wealthy, and those who can afford to hire lobbyists. And in the end, the average person doesn't get as good a deal. I favor broad, sweeping change that every person has the same break with.